Who's ready to sing some songs? Yeah! Everybody get up, get up, get up! You want me to do it? You want me to sing? All by myself? <laughs> get up. We're gonna do some music. Are you ready? One! Guys, how are you? Hey, have you ever been in a situation where you thought, that's impossible? Have you? Or seen a situation where you go, there's just no way, that's not possible. Me too. But today I wanna to show you a little object lesson where we look at something in the human eye and we go, that's not possible, but it's possible with God, okay? So I'm gonna show you a little something. I heard once that you could take one piece of paper and you could actually step through it. One piece of paper. I heard that once. So I tried it. That's, and I thought looking at this one piece of paper, that's impossible, right? Yeah, so I tried something. I took it and I thought maybe if I take a hole or make a hole like this. See that? Maybe if I try to do something like this, maybe I could step through this. What do you think? Do you need to go get a piece of paper? Hurry, go get one. Hurry. Pause. Okay, come back. Okay, ready? So you get your piece of paper, I thought, and maybe if I just tear a hole in my piece of paper like this, maybe I could step through it. Or maybe it's one arm at a time and then I could probably try to put my, didn't work. So then I thought, well, maybe if I step through it and, no, no, this arm, or what if I just started with putting my head in here and then I could maybe, oh, maybe I could, uh-uh. It wasn't gonna work. Ugh. You know why? Because I didn't have the master plan. I just started doing my own thing with a piece of paper. That didn't work. I needed a master plan. Then I saw somebody who showed me how to do it. She took her piece of paper. Do you guys have your piece of paper? Are you ready to do this? She folded in half like a hot dog. You know what a hot dog is. You've seen a hot dog bun, right? Do it long ways like this. Okay? Everybody with me? You know what else I needed? Tools. I needed tools. So I got some scissors. She said that you needed a master plan. We have, God has our master plan, right? God has the master plan for our life. We can't just do whatever we want. He has the master plan. Then everything's possible, right? So then we need tools. God gives us tools too. He has our, the Bible for us to read. That's a tool. He has um, a pastor who preaches the word of God to us, our parents. We need tools. So then... We take it right here. You guys want to do this. You want to do an impossible trick to the human eye. Right where the fold is. You see it? Right here. This is where the fold is. We're going to take this. And we're going to follow the plan. And the plan is to make a lines. But don't cut them all the way to the end. Okay? So you're going to start cutting your piece of paper like this. Surely, this is gonna work, right? How many of you still think this is impossible? We can't step through one piece of paper. No way. We can probably get our Barbie doll through there. Wrong. I have the master plan today, you guys. Now, once you have made a little, whatever you wanna call it, flip it around, like this, okay? 
And then you're gonna do it again, but you're not gonna do it on the first one. You're gonna do it on the second one. See this? Oh, buddy. Are you guys still following me? Look at what's happening. Our one piece of paper looks like it's getting bigger. How many times in the Bible did you guys see or hear a story? I'm sure you've heard of stories where things looked impossible. Things looked impossible a lot of times. And you know what happens? That's when God works the best. When things look impossible to us, that's when God can step in and say, watch what I can do, right? Can you think of a story right now where things looked impossible and God stepped in and everything worked out? I can. I know a couple of stories. How about when Moses, how about when Moses took everybody out of Egypt and they were on their way and they got right in front of the big Red Sea? Oh man, this is an impossible situation. What are we gonna do? We gotta get to the other side. What happened? Exactly. God made a way. The waves opened up. And what did they do? They walked through. That's impossible. Right? Not with God. Nothing is impossible with God. Can you say that? Nothing is impossible with God. Good job. So here we go. We're taking one piece of paper today. Oh boy. This is getting wild. Look at this. We took one piece of paper and now we've got this crazy little thing going on here. But now we're going to take it. We're not done. There's more to this plan. Now we're going to cut the tops right here. Don't do the first one. Do the second one. And don't do the last one. Okay, so here we go. Can you think of another story in the Bible where things looked impossible? How about... Hold on a second here. Okay, there it is. How about... For Lazarus. Lazarus. Remember? He died. He died. And he had been dead for three days. The Bible said... He was so dead. It didn't smell good over there. And what did his sister say? Jesus, if you only had come sooner. If you only had come sooner. See, she didn't see. She didn't see it that way. She thought this was impossible. Now it's too late. Now it's too late, Jesus. He's already dead. Now you can't do anything now, right? Because that looked impossible to her. But what happened? Anybody? Anybody know what happened? Exactly. Jesus raised him from the dead. Right? Yeah, that's what happened. Why? Because when things look impossible to us, God shows us again who he really is. Right? So now, look at what's happening. Okay, you guys done doing all your cutting? Okay, now hold it up, hold it up. We took one piece of paper. Oh, look, you guys, look. I just stepped through. We just took an impossible, a situation that should have been impossible. We took a piece of paper, one piece of paper, and we made this gigantic circle that we can actually step through. Is that cool? You know why we were able to do that? Because we had a plan. We had the master plan. We had a plan that showed us what to do. And you know what we did? 
We took our tools and we followed the plan with the cutty. That's what we do with God, you guys. We follow the plan. We listen to our preaching. We read the Bible. We talk to God. And he talks to us back. And then we have a plan. And then when you're up against an impossible situation, God gets all the glory. He gets all the glory for the plan. Right? Awesome. Remember how we were talking about that just a little while ago? When we did that object lesson and we were able to make that big circle? Here's your scripture. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 1, 37. And I wanted to talk to you about that just one more time. Because it's so important. Because with God, with God, nothing is impossible, right? So I wanted to talk to you guys about that for just a second while I move this out of the way. I was thinking about Moses again. And remember I was talking about how the Israelites, they came out, God's people, they came out of Egypt and they came to what? The Red Sea. You're right, you're right. They came to the Red Sea and they were they were out there and, and then they, they come right up there to the human eye. It looked impossible. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Anybody been in that situation where they go, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, they came to that situation when they were at the Red Sea. What am I going to do? What happened? Do you know what happened? All of a sudden, Staff came out, and what happened? The Red Sea opened. It opened, and guess what they did? They walked right through the Red Sea. Think about how scary that must have been. Looking as they're walking along these big, tall waves, and maybe they were looking at the fish as they walked through on both sides. But you know what the Bible says? They didn't get wet. And you know what else? They walked on dry ground. To the human eye, that was impossible. But God said, I'm gonna make it possible right now. And they did. They walked through the Red Sea and they made it through. So then what happened? Now they're through the Red Sea they made it past Egypt and Pharaoh's behind them now and Pharaoh's in the water. You know what happened? I got hungry. Anybody get hungry? Anybody hungry now? No, I'm not really that hungry, but they got hungry. So they started thinking, what are we gonna eat? What are we gonna eat? We just left a place where we, we were living. We were in bondage and we were in slavery but we had some food I'm hungry is it lunchtime yet I bet you they asked those little kids asking their mom is it lunchtime yet there was no food to him and I something looks impossible what are we going to do we don't have food we're hungry to the human eye, right? You know what God did for them? He gave them food. The Bible says that God 
gave them food and they went out every morning and they would go look out and there would be food on the ground. It was called manna. And they would just have to go and pick it up. Talk about a delivery, right? Like you get your pizza delivered at your house. God delivered their food right there. All they had to do was go pick it up. They went outside and picked it up and ate it. Human eye says, that's impossible. But God, with God, it was possible, right? So I want you to remember that we are living in a little bit of a crazy time. I'll admit that. It's a little bit of a crazy time right now. And you might go, this is impossible. I'm never going to get back to church or... I'm never gonna get back to school or I can't play with my friends. This is impossible. But let me tell you, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 1, 37. And I want you to memorize that. Let's say it together, ready? For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 1, 37. You can do it. I love you guys. I miss you. I can't wait to see you again. Keep your chin up. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 1, 37. Bye.